All right, let's talk about some cells over here in the house. A cell divides into two cells every hour. How long will it take for the number of cells to equal 128 G's? Gangster. <laughs> if we start, oh, never mind. I guess that should be common. If we start with 16,000 cells. Okay, so uh, this is actually, we can kind of do this two ways. We can either do it with formulas or we can do it conceptually. And let's just first talk about this uh, conceptually and what would make sense. Okay, and uh, so say if I said, okay, so how many cells are we just starting with? Okay, meaning it's not even hour one yet. It's actually more like hour zero. Like right now, how many cells do you have? And it would seem that right here that we would have 16,000 cells. So I'm going to say A sub zero is 16,000. Okay, and one of the mistakes that we were seeing on the exam was most people were putting 16,000 as A sub one. That would mean after the first hour, there were 16,000, but that's not the case. At hour zero, you're starting with 16,000. So, okay, so after 60 uh, minutes goes by, so now it's an hour, how many would you have then? Well, you would take your 16,000 and every cell would, would, would um, cut in half or double, right? So we're going to double this and then you're going to have 3,200, okay? And then hour two comes and now... Every cell here cuts in half right here, which also means doubles that. So all we're doing is that we're doubling every single time. It's the same thing as saying that, that it divides into two, right? And then on the, the third hour, if I multiply that by two because it doubles, um, 128,000. So conceptually, we already have the answer. How long will it take to get 128,000? Well, the answer is three, right? So it would take uh, three hours, okay? And... Do you notice that this right here is, is a sequence? And um, it's actually a geometric sequence because if I try to find my R, okay, oops, if I'm going to find my R between any of these, it's going to be the same, right? It's going to be 2, 2, 2. 32,000 divided by 16,000. 64,000 divided by 32,000. It's all going to be 2, right? So we know that if we're going to use our, our uh, formula here times R to the N minus 1, we know that our R is going to be 2. Okay, so I'm going to replace my R with 2. And here's where we start to get a little trickery. Okay, this right here stands for U sub 1, or our first term, right? So really, our first term is not 16,000. Our first term would have been uh, 32,000. So that's what we want to put for our first term. So U sub n equals 32,000 times 2 to the n minus 1. And so now the question is, okay, so uh, when will this whole entire thing be equal to 128,000? Well, that means that we're going to have to solve that now uh, for our n. And obviously, I mean, this, is a, a, um, this is a lot of work to just do what we just did. I mean, we already had the answer. But this is if you were going to take the formula approach. We got a little more hairiness to going on here. Um, so we would divide both sides by uh, 3,200. 3,200. And uh, so let's see, 32, 1, 2, 3, 4 goes into 2 to the n minus 1, okay? And uh, we've been doing problems like this in, the, in our class anyways, right? We want these to be the same base. So I could change 4 to 2 squared. And now since we have the same base, we can use our one-to-one -one property and be like, what the ah! And cross those guys out. And now set these equal to each other. And obviously n equals 3. So a lot of mumbo jumbo to just get this simple answer that you could have just derived doing conceptually. So don't try to creep. That's it.